such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing. There is no such thing as a silent witness. Want to encourage you to go to our webpage for such a time as this dot today. For such a time as this dot today. There you can uh, see all of our new material, regardless of what uh, what platform it, it it's on. We are on several different platforms and you can find the platforms that we are on just click on the link at our webpage for such a time as this dot today <clears throat> it is alarming what is going on in our country it's sad to see when the wicked rise, people hide themselves. But when they perish, the righteous increase. Proverbs 28, 28, 28. Sorry, Proverbs 29, 2. When the righteous increase, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people groan. What's going on in our country today, the country that we love, I believe there are powers that be that's undermining the authority in our country, the police departments. And crime and death and mayhem and chaos is becoming a normal way of life. Here you have a police, a police official out on the West Coast describing what is going on with the police department in his city. Here it is. How bad is morale within the Portland Police Department right now? Morale is as bad as it's ever been before. We're dealing with rioting at a level and a sustained violence that we've never seen before. We're looking at violence in our city, gun violence in our city like we've never seen before. We're looking at the most catastrophic staffing levels we've ever seen before. We're looking at budget cuts to defund us like we've never seen before. All those things play into the morale of a police officer coming to work every day, trying to do your job, trying to do it right uh, with all these roadblocks in your way. That's Portland. I should have known I had a brain freeze. I said on the West Coast, it's Portland. I should have known it was Portland. Portland's a, Portland's a zoo. It's an absolute zoo. But it's the attitude that's, that's taking hold in our country that's being accepted. Tucker Carlson on the Fox News channel, he did. He did a story. It, it's heartbreaking to see this. So now, New York may change its approach even further in the wrong direction. Just days ago, officials in the city announced they were dropping charges against hundreds of rioters and looters who were arrested last year. So you wreck the city and you're not punished. It's scary. But it's not as scary as the attitudes on display in this clip. This really gets you asking deep questions about the future of the country. This is from Oakland, California. Now, several people were shot. One died during Juneteenth celebrations this weekend. That's bad. But the worst part is how people in the neighborhood reacted. They didn't seem bothered at all. Here's how they responded to the ambulance when it arrived. Last week, we showed you footage of people in Chicago dancing on a police cruiser, and now we have this. Sociopaths, and that is the word for them, celebrating a shooting by twerking. What kind of society produces people like that, who would behave like that? Do you know anyone who would behave like that? When you see people behave like that, you have to ask yourself, what are we as a society doing wrong? What type of society produces people like that? A godless society, Tucker. A Tucker that has rejected God. A country that thinks that entertainment and worshiping themselves are the most important thing, not embracing the true and living God. This is dangerous. 
it seems as though our country has fallen under the spell of some evil, deluding spirit, and it's all over. That was Portland, the first clip. This was, was Oakland, and Chicago, uh, an execution took place of a man and his wife in the middle of the street, and they just sat there and bled to death while people took pictures. <whistles> what type of society produces what we are seeing? A society that has rejected God. For such a time as this, 